Today, I'm gonna to show you how to recreate this super smooth mask transition from Gillette's new TV commercial and show you step-by-step -step how to make your own version using After Effects. My name is DJ from Eternal Visuals. Let's not waste any time, let's get into it. First step is to create our logo and background and did some quick research to find out that the font Gillette uses is an adaptation of Futura Oblique Bold. I downloaded the font from Adobe Fonts, created a 1920 by 1080 Illustrator file, typed out the font, reduced the tracking, converted the text to outlines, and then cut and shaped the lettering to match the official logo. I ungrouped the letters, then split the two sides into separate layers, including the background layer. To match the background, I eye dropped each corner of the frame added the colors to my swatch panel, and then added a gradient effect to the solid layer. For the video footage, I wanted to match the concept as close as possible to the original. I was ready to set up all my lights. But once I found my location, I realized that if I just pulled the shade down on the skylight, it acted as a diffuser for the sunlight, and the white walls bounced the light to fill in my opposite side. Now it's time for After Effects. To import the Illustrator file, I went to File, Import Files. Once selected, I made sure to choose retain layer sizes. This is very important. Then I dragged the composition onto the timeline, double clicked the comp so I could see all of my layers. I made sure my playhead was at the beginning of the timeline, selected both of my text layers and hit P on my keyboard to open up the position settings. I hit the timer to create keyframes, moved one second and then moved each group of the letters away from each other. I right clicked the keyframes and chose ease in and out highlighted both keyframes, then opened up the speed graph to stretch and create an even smoother transition. I selected both layers, right-clicked, and pre-comped. I titled it Gillette Logo. For our zoom in, I hit S on the keyboard to open the scale settings. I started at 10 frames on the timeline and created a keyframe. Moved the playhead to 1 second 15 frames and increased the zoom to 700. Eased in and out. Then highlighted both keyframes, I went into the speed graph again and eased in the beginning for an even smoother ramp for the zoom. I headed back out and opened the position settings on the new comp. Went to 15 seconds on the timeline and made a position keyframe. I went back to 1 second 15 frames and adjusted the position so that when the two L's leave frame, their height and width are even. Then went back into the speed graph one more time and adjusted the starting position keyframe to be super smooth on the launch. Now that the logo animation is complete, I imported the video clip, dragged it under the logo comp, and moved the playhead to the point in the timeline where you cannot see the background anymore. With my video clip selected, I went to Edit Split Layer. Then I went to the very end of the first half of the video clip, opened up the parent option, and linked it to the logo comp. Now our clip should move with our logo animation. To create a clean border in between the letters, I grabbed the pen tool and created a polygon shaped mask around the video clip to match the height of the letters. I wasn't afraid of the width because it's hidden behind the lettering. I continued up and down the timeline creating mask keyframes to fit the distance between our L's. To make our clip appear with the clip selected, I hit T on the keyboard to open up the opacity settings and created a keyframe at 15 frames, then went to the beginning of the timeline and dragged the opacity to zero. One more final touch. I selected both the video clips and the logo comp and checked off the motion blur icon to give a more realistic motion. And there we have it. There really isn't too much to this effect, but it feels so professional. I hope you learned something today and can't wait to see you in the next one.